welcome everyone in this webinar uh, provided by Secret AI. Um, I'm so glad here just to talk about dependency and session engineering. Um, basically, you know, I just selected this title because, you know, guys, just session engineering these days is super crazy, you know, it's super interesting one, and we need just to talk about it, you know. Um, I've got a lot of messages, you know, daily, like, you know, asking about the session engineering attacks, some techniques, etc. So basically, I found that topic is super interesting one. So um, let's talk a little bit about me. So I'm Hamad Hamdi, I'm cybersecurity engineer and privacy and risk management and system administrator professional. Also, um, an IT and cybersecurity trainer. Um, just delivering, you know, some kind of workshops and, you know, some trainings about cybersecurity for all the levels, basically. And I'm trying to guide people, you know, to go on the field. So, um, and also I'm just certified, you know, ethical hacker and, you know, some kind of SC council certifications. And also I'm a meter attack defender. So uh, let's go in the flow and <laughs> let's just talk about our plan. Um, so we're going to start just a little bit to talk about some numbers, you know, statics. It's super interesting thing, you know, to talk about that. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, this kind of numbers just make things clear for us. And we have to understand what's going on in the world to just make sure that, you know, like everything that we're going to talk about is super important one. Um, so we're going to just talk to about, you know, the concept of pen testing or penetration testing, okay? Because there's a lot of confusion, um, you know, about that term and it exists like a lot of, you know, myths and, you know, false concepts, you know, and false understanding for that concept, you know? So that's why it's super interesting to start from the beginning, okay? To just explain the concept and why we need penetration testing. And after we're gonna just jump in, you know, and start explaining the social engineering, and um, we're gonna talk about the concept, what is it, and how really bad people, you know, exploiting it. Um, also, we're gonna just simulate some basics attacks. Okay, I'm not gonna say like it's super advanced one, you know, just a webinar, guys. You know, but I'm gonna just simulate, you know, some, you know, basics attacks just to show, uh, with a practical way that, you know, social engineering it just super easy you know like nowadays you can launch some attacks from your mobile phone okay you can install kali you know inside your mobile phone and you know you just enjoy with some kind of attack okay so uh so guys just i need to sign is everything clear about the ban so um and make sure guys that i'm reading your question okay so don't hesitate if you want to just ask some questions or you know i need just you know some confirmation that everything is just clear to just continue okay so I'm reading all the discussion here and yeah, just give me a sign that everything is perfect. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. Um, anyway, we're gonna just start with talking about some statics, you know, and you know, some numbers. Um, well, guys, we just need to talk about it. You know, numbers for 2021, they're just crazy, you know, like there is a lot of interesting numbers and there is a lot, you know, of catastrophic numbers you know like um one of them is just like super interested by the way you can check like this kind of numbers into website i provide it's just the source and um you know like just talk about you know the first one you know this is this is like super crazy when you hear that like 98 of cybersecurity attacks involve some form of social engineering you know like um this year it just explodes like 2021 i remember like um, you know, I, I had some experiences in some companies and it was like, whoa, you know, like social engineering became something so crazy, like something we are just dealing with it daily, you know, um, you know, like, like, it's just basically a very, very, very dangerous number, you know, um, and that's why basically um, all the people right now and even in cybersecurity, you know, community and whatever, um, you know, like I, I just met a lot of people, you know, and, and some professional and we literally um, make it like, you know, we are literally just trying to ask how we can just, you know, protecting ourselves from that, you know, like even right now, some companies, they are basically, you know, searching for, um, you know, making some trainings for their employees, you know, to avoid that, you know, because the numbers is like something crazy, you know, so um I'm going to say like um, the, the other number is like when I read about like some 90% of malicious data breaches involve session engineering. 
you know, like it just became something super natural, you know, and, and super like common. If you're going to just wake up in the morning and you're going to be like a victim of some such in your, you know, attacks. Um, and, and, you know, like one, one of the statics too, like in the United States, you know, they are saying that 83% of organization fell a victim of phishing attack. Uh, I mean, like phishing is something else, you know. Um, I mean, like even right now, some script kiddies, you know, like some people, they are just beginning their path inside cybersecurity. They are linking, you know, some phishing attack, you know. And you know what? Like maybe if you're into cybersecurity, you're going to be like, okay, it's a phishing attack, you know. I know those kind of tricks. But I, I swear to you, like maybe if it's going to happen to someone, you know, he or she has some limited knowledge about cybersecurity things, it's going to be a little bit bad, you know. It's going to be like an easy victim for those kind of bad actors, you know. And we know, guys, like about social networks. Facebook, for example, is the most impersonated website and represent like a 4% of phishing pages. You know, guys, like nowadays, you know, people interested. I mean, like, okay, if you're going to just talk about that kind of people, like the category of beginner people, you know, they're going to be like, um, okay, I'm a script kitty. I have just to show myself and I'm going to hack your Facebook, right? So, uh, and they're going to be like, okay, I'm going to hack it. And then they're going to think about how to learn efficient attack. You know, so that's why when some, you know, script kiddies or, you know, some, some basically like people, they don't have a lot of experience in cybersecurity attacks or whatever, um, they start to learn about the phishing attacks because it's super easy, you know, like um, you can just install the Kali, you can install the Termix, you know, inside your smartphone and launching your link. And then you can just, you know, wait for the victim. You got me. So, so it's not really super complicated. So that's why it's so popular, you know. And, um, you know, guys, like the CEOs, I mean, like, okay, so uh, if I'm going to fish someone, I'm going to fish someone interesting, you know, I'm going to fish someone who can um, get advantage of that person, right? So I'm going to target the CEOs, I'm going to target, you know, like, literally, you know, maybe even, you know, like, even famous people, you know, like, I read some statics before, and, and you know, some celebrities, they're a victim of that, you know, their, their accounts, their online business or whatever, it's all this, you know, and, and look to the number, it's like seven times per year. I mean, like, you know, that, this is a huge number, you know? So um, it means like, like you know, if, if you want to just translate like, like 57 times, it means like two or one per like week, you know? Just imagine like each week you get a just efficient attack, you know? So that's why it's super long. And um, basically, like as a cybersecurity engineers and experts, right? We are always giving that advice. Okay, if you want to just, you know, like save yourself from efficient attack, um, you know, you have just to look, you know, above and you have to see that uh, the site is not protected. I mean, like HTTP, right? Who gonna just click on HTTP site? You know, but right now it just became a very old advice. You know, now phishing attack, they are, you know, became more and more evolved. They, they became more strong and they came with the SSL certificate. You know, just can you imagine that. You know, they became with a TLS SSL. That means that someone who's gonna click this account or, or that site, they're gonna be like, okay, it's safe. I'm gonna click on it. You know, it just, you know, it's providing a secure connection. So that's why phishing. I mean, attack, it just like became more and more evolved. I mean, like it became more and more so hard to uh, basically um, be safer from. And um, and yes, I mean, like the last number is like 27% of companies practice social engineering awareness training. I mean, like this is a very, very, very low number. I mean, like um, I understand some IT companies or even some normal and or industries, you know, uh, I mean, because the project, the deadlines, you know, like they're always, you know, searching for, um, you know, like uh, the deadlines with their customers or whatever. They are not really finding some time, you know, for their employees to make some awareness training. You know, this is so important. And um, I swear to you guys, this has happened for any cybersecurity engineer, because when it's just like you're in the company and when you're going to be like, OK, guys, I mean, I just heard this period is super crazy. And I heard that uh, phishing attacks everywhere, you know, I have to make like an awareness training for my team. I, I mean, like, especially commercial, you know, department, you know, because, okay, for, for IT 
IT team or for maybe like for developers, it's okay. They have some basic knowledge, right? But for commercials, you know, I think this is like a priority, you know, to make for them a training. But all this is like this, you know, they're going to be like, oh, we don't have a time. Okay, we have something more interesting. We know about that. Don't worry, you know, we're going to take care, but not, <laughs> you know, they're just saying all of that. And later you're going to be like, ah, oh, goodness, you know, it's just like another attack. And, you know, you're going to be blame yourself for not forcing them to make more training and more awareness for, for the pressing points. So, um, okay, guys, just give me a sign. Is everything clear right here?